Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Bullet SR6 Slim Jeans available at Revzilla.com. So now we saw Bullet introduce an entire new line of jeans and material last year, and now they're revamping their lineup because the biggest you know complaint that we had with the SR6s and the Bullet line in general was there wasn't much style to the jean. Yes, they were maximizing protection, but really what we've seen with this new iteration for 2017 is they're keeping all that safety aspect that was introduced with their Kovac material, and now they're adding style, and that's because they poached Westmoreland from Levi's, and he is now the new designer for Bullet with their jeans. And this slim jean is gonna be a mid-height jean, and as you can see, it is going to be ultra skinny with still 2% of elastane mixed in with that 12.5 ounce denim. So there is a little bit of a flex here. So when you're using this on and off the motorcycle, even though it's a really skinny jean, it doesn't feel like it's restricting your motion whatsoever. So let's start with sizing. I got Hivis Brian on my left hand side who is squeezed into these bad boys. He stands at six foot, weighs in 195 pounds, and measures his waist at 35.5 inches. Now he is typically a 33 to a 34 in his jeans. We put him in a 34, and as you can see, it fits him spot on. Just keep in mind, this is a very aggressively slim cut pant. Now sizes will range from a 30 up to a 50, and inseams are gonna range between a 30, 32, 34, or 36. So that's one of the huge pluses for going with Bullet, is that you have a wide variety of sizes to choose from. Now there's two different colors available. Hive is Brian on my left hand side is sporting the Italians. The Italians is more of a dark indigo style color, where there's also a Pacific option, which I would call Brett Favre Wrangler Blue. But those are your two main choices for the slim jeans. And keep in mind, when you're looking throughout Bullet's lineup, you can choose between the SR4s and the SR6s, and then within each of those styles, you can then pick which, uh, which style of actual fit you wanna go with. Now, the difference between the SR4s to the SR6s is the way that the Kovac is designed inside. You're going from the SR4s, which is about a five second slide resistance, bumping up to the XR, SR6s rather, gets you more coverage of that Kovac material, and you're now at 6.26 seconds of abrasion resistance in a slide. The other thing you're gonna get is a full slip comfort liner, and while it doesn't include armor, they have revised the armor pockets on the inside of this, so if you wanna add the knee armor later, you can. You can also add hip armor if you'd like, and the pockets no longer have the Velcro in an area where it can be exposed. It now folds up underneath when you're looking at the inside of this. So they've redesigned the slip liner for this as well, and keep in mind, that's another addition you get from bumping the SR6s. The SR4s don't have that full slip liner, and you're also getting maximized coverage. So before we break down what you can expect from the jean itself, let's just talk about the Kovac material very briefly. Now we've talked about Kovac in depth in the past when we saw these introduced from Bullet. Kovac is a proprietary material, you know, designed originally in correlation with NASA, and now it's being used in Bullet's riding jeans. So really what you're getting here is you're getting a material that's gonna be a low or a higher melting point than your polyesters or your Dyneema's, not quite as high as Kevlar, but you have none of the disadvantages of Kevlar. So it doesn't break down or fatigue over time. There's no washing restrictions, and it's just gonna be a more durable material from just holding up. You know, one of the downflaws to Kevlar is when you put it in a riding jean, you're constantly flexing it back and forth, or if you need to wash it, you know, detergents can harm it. You're not gonna have any of those drawbacks with the Kovec material found in here. So when we start with the top and we work our way down, you are gonna notice that the rivets for the five pocket design do have that little bullhead logo kind of etched in there or embossed in. You're gonna have dual safety stitching around the pockets and then when we, work, when we work our way down the sides, you will notice that the sides and the seams are gonna be triple safety stitched. Now the big thing here is the amount of coverage from the Kovac material. The inside of this is gonna be fully lined with Kovac. You do have those pockets for knee armor. And the one thing to note is they've introduced a new type of knee armor as an option for you. This is gonna be a StarTech CE level two knee armor and it's gonna be extremely thin and extremely comfortable. So there's you know, no discomfort to it. And again, with how thin it is, it's amazing how they've been able to work CE level two armor into something that's gonna be so thin and so flexible. But that would be the option that I would go with if I was adding knee armor to these particular jeans. Now, as we work our way down, you're gonna notice that the liner stops about four inches above the, uh, the hem. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to cuff the jeans, or if you'd like to hem them further, you do have that option so you can kind of alter the size. But with the fact that you can choose between 30, 32, 34, 36 inch inseam, 
you should be able to get these jeans pretty well spot on straight out of the box. Brian, I'm gonna have you face sideways and kick your left leg back for me. So just to take a quick side profile, one of the things you'll note is they've changed the actual belt loop um, leather swath on the back of this. It used to just be a blacked out with a white bullhead. They've now gone with a brown leather and they've got the, uh, the black bullhead with a British flag on one side and then 17 on the other, letting you know that you are wearing a pair of jeans from 2017. Slim cut line all the way through. And the other thing you'll note, Brian, go ahead and face backwards for me. The bullhead logo on the pocket, these are a pair of sample jeans from Bullet. The bullhead will be gone. So when you, uh, when you get the actual production model, there will be no bullhead on the back for the slim cut jeans. Now what you'll notice at the top, one of the things that Bullet did that I really liked is you've got three belt loops at the middle because if you are in more of that tuck position, chances are you're putting a lot of stress in your belt in that middle loop. So it just gives you an extra bit of reinforcement. And then you'll notice that triple safety stitching running along the top here. And then as we take a look just down the back, that Kovac liner works all the way down to just about below the knees on the back of the pant, maximizing that full coverage in the seat, which is traditionally gonna be one of your impact zones. Brian, you may go ahead and face forward for me. So for riders out there looking for something that is gonna give them that slim, aggressive, modern cut, but you want maximum protection, you know, the Kovec material that Bullet has introduced is definitely gonna be one of the more aggressively protective materials that we've seen. And now that they've got their styling more on point, this is gonna be an option that's gonna be a definite competitor moving into 2017. Now there's a lot of riders out there that are already using Bullet Jeans, and if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting SR6 jeans through their paces. If you have more questions for one of our gear geeks as to which pair of riding jeans is right for you and your style of riding, give them a shout, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot us over an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Bullet SR6 Slim Jeans. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride. Thank uh you. -huh.